Well, here is your general manager, Tanner Russell. As he made his his debut last episode in UCW, known as the new general manager. And this is very glorious, to be honest. Let's see what he has to say on this great day. In the second episode, as we're two episodes away, well, after this one, two episodes away from Knight of Gold. Let's see what he has to say. So said the general manager he said that there will be a tournament to see who will be the new well, to see who will face Angus Eli a knight of gold to see who will be who, who is that why did the music stop that's Malcolm Stone my god Malcolm Stone just interrupting Zach Payne. My God. Just power bomb a book of infamy right on the right on the ramp. My God. The crowd is shocked. What is Malcolm Stone doing? Wow. Just the the line Zach Payne is just on the ground. And a belly to belly. My God. What is Malcolm Stone just getting breaking the table? Zach Payne just trying to get away, but another drop kick. Wasn't really getting away there. My God. Just slamming him right onto that that concrete. What is Malcolm Stone doing? He's sending Zach Payne on a table, on an announcement table. And just getting him up. And a book of infamy right through the table. <laughs> Zach Payne was supposed to have a match against Aaron Adams. My God. Well, after a vicious attack from Zach, well, b to, towards Zach Payne by uh, Malcolm Stone, the general manager in 
The chairman, Michael Bates and Tanner Russell agreed that the show must continue and must go on. As this was just a violation towards the policy of UCW. And yes, there's a policy. This match was supposed to happen next week. No, next episode, I should say. But both of these men are not ready for this match as they just... As it's been announced all of a sudden. And like I said, it was supposed to happen last... Well, next week, the next episode. So these two are not ready. And not very prepared... But anyways, here is the American Messiah, Adrian Case, as he's trying to get another piece of gold, a knight of gold. Will he be able to defeat Cody Hawk to th uh, tonight <laughs> to advance in the semifinals? And Adrian Case had a little feud with Chris Rose, which obviously he lost and failed to uh, achieve the television championship from Dave Cameron and Chris Rose. Will he be able? Well, will he be able to achieve? The prize, I'd not have known, and I, I think I've said that like many times now. And here is Cody Hawk. We didn't see him in singles action, and like the last time we see him and seen him in singles action was in Brooklyn briefcase and a super kick by Adrian Case. Starting off this match kind of, kind of viciously. About to go for a super kick. Adrian Case, reversal, and connecting it that time. I have a lots of hope for this match up here as Cody Hawk has it. Goes for a DDT off the bat. In a knee. Cody Hawk representing Operation Elite. In a knee. And going for another one. Adrian Kate, well, Cody Hawk controlling the match so far. As Adrian Case is on the floor, about to go for that super kick. And a float over DDT. Well, did I say that both of these men are not ready for this match these two men are re well Cody Hawk is sure ready for this match as you go for a tope con helo bow in a clothesline Adrian Case is just getting folded just sending him over towards the the east wing of the ringside. Just tossing them. Well, not tossing them, but. You know. And a super kick out of nowhere. Cody Hawk is ready. As he'll be facing either Leo Evans or Drake Hale. Reversal 
by Cody Hawk as he goes for Dark Madison. See, finishing maneuver there. Will he get the win quick and easy? Representing Operation Elite, but Adrian Case gets the kick out. Cody Hawk is on a roll. And going for a move, so smooth. Very smooth. Smooth. It's very smooth. Cody Hawk has been ready. Well, is ready in this match. I'm not sure about Adrian Case as he locks in a single leg to Boston Crab. No. A single leg, well, not single leg, a sharpshooter. And a nice arc, a nice cutter by Adrian Case out of nowhere. And going for the comeback, going for the clothesline, but misses as Adrian Case goes for the super kick. And but Cody Hawk getting out of the way of that. Oh, about to go for the handspring Pele kick, but he was he 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 yeah didn't really hit that as well. Another moonsault. About to go for another one. In a name. You know, it's been a while since he's been in, in uh, singles action. We forget how well Cody Hawk is in the ring and out. But Adrian Case charging. Oh my God. Adrian, Cody Hawk is just too too fast for Adrian Case. I, that that I'm just saying that right then and there. But Adrian Case with a reverse suplex as he reverses and he's going for his finishing maneuver. Casey's Jen. One, two. Kick out at two. Cody Hawk kicking now just in time. Adrian Case going for another pin and a kick out at one that time. Adrian Case trying to figure out what he has to do to put away Cody Hawk in this match as he go for an inverted DDT. Oh, missing the super kick. <laughs> missing his super kick elbow. Oh, missing his super kick. Oh my god. Ken Shasa by Cody Hawk. Looking to end the match right here. And he does that. Cody Hawk advances in the semifinals with that Ken Shasa. An entertaining match to start off UCW episode 22, I believe. Yeah, it's 22. Going for Dark Madison, but it surprisingly it didn't finish the job. That didn't finish the job either. Adrian Case going for his Casey's Gin. Sometimes follow it up by a Casey's Generation. There, Co Cody Hawk gets his singles, well, his second singles win in the business. As he advances to the semifinals to see if Leo Evans, well, see if he faces Leo Evans or Drake Hale. On to our next match.
And here is the award winning, award winning record, winning the award as the greatest UCW champion of all time. Let's see what he has to say. Well, after that confront confrontation with uh, Wreck-It and Storm, we'll be having Derek Young versus Roddy Ace to see who will be facing. But at, at this point, we don't even know who either one of these men are going to face because Zach Payne has just got put through a table by Malcolm Stone as he was supposed to face Aaron Adams we don't know what's gonna happen with Aaron what, what's gonna happen with Aaron Adams we don't know what's gonna happen with Zach Payne we just we don't know it's up to the general manager Tanner Russell to figure this out but it's also up to the chairman to see if he actually agrees with this with Tanner Russell's decision this is this is a this is very hard to comprehend. Not comprehend, but like, this is hard to think about. Is, is Derek Young and or uh, Roddy Ace gonna be in, inserted automatically towards the finals of this tournament, or like, we don't know. But anyways, here is. Roddy Ace, the Ace of Treachery, who pulled off one of the greatest matches in all of history with Malcolm Stone. He is a nice competitor in the ring, I'm not gonna lie. His performance at Night of Titans really, really sparked up momentum for this guy. But let's see if he'll be able to win this match against one of the greatest, Derek Young. Oh, what a gut kick! Right by. Oh! And just see Derek, the strength of Roddy Ace! Oh, but maybe he didn't want to do that! A mushrooms, a leaping mushroom stump already to start off this match. And a nice flat line there by Derek Young, the Bloodhound, and Roddy Ace with a gut buster. Oh, in a black mask. To, oh, oh my God! But I got the ropes. Just kicking the gut of Roddy Ace. Derek Young and Roddy Ace going back and forth. Oh, missing. About to go for the spinning heel kick and a knee. 
and a drop kick. About to go for a little kick there. Roddy Yates with the heel kicks. And a Listo kick. Derek Young lifting him up with a gut wrench power bomb. The kick out at one. And an inverted DDT there by Derek Young again. Well, not again, but going for that inverted D DDT. Go for a sunset flip power bomb. And charging up Roddy Ace. This is some high risk here. And an elbow. Didn't expect Derek Young to be going for an elbow outside the ring. Her Karana by Roddy Ace. As he's just taunting there. A knee. And going for a face wash. Face washes and going for another one. A running face wash. Reversal. And going for the dying young early in this match. Looking to end the match right here, but a kick out at two. Ooh, we. About to go for that spinning heel kick. Roddy Yates slinging him back with a hurry, Karana. <laughs> nice matchup so far. And the overhead belly to belly. I'm telling you guys, that strength of Roddy Ace. Going for the comeback now. And a knee! <laughs> My God! Just not... Not letting Roddy Ace go up finishing the comeback at all. Oh, oh, going back and forth and ahead, but go for another one. And just, just sending Roddy Ace to the outside as he goes for a barrel tope. Nice match so far. About to go for the spinning heel kick again. And go for the air raid crash neck breaker. Call it the ace attorney. But only getting a, not even a one count. Roddy Ace going on top of the ropes. Oh! Derek Young with a pedigree! With a pedigree! Out of nowhere! It's not that much you see that! Looking for the win, but a kick out! Roddy A is kicking out, surprisingly. That was a a pedigree, a, a catching pedigree. About to go for an inverted Phoenix splash. But missing as Roddy Yates goes for a pen. Kick out at one. I'm just cranking the neck of Derek Young. Here goes, here goes Roddy Ace going for the Roddy Clutch. 
looking at and Derek Young right here. And Derek Young trying to get out of it. And just breaking the hold. And a clothesline towards the. And a knee. Looking for the win right here. But the, the ref! <laughs> Canceling the pin. And they're going for it again. <laughs> One, two, but kick out at two. Roddy Ace and Derek Young got a lot of heart, to be honest with you. And another overhead belly to belly. This is how much that champ, how much they want to get this championship. Oh. And a brain buster going for the pin. And a kick out at one. Roddy Ace is shocked. And going for that BFT. Knee in a clothesline. And a rapid fire knee strikes right here. Roddy Ace is trying to take out Derek Young as best as he can. Going for anything at this point. Going for a little Roddy clutch here. My, out of the blue, but Derek Young trying to get out of it. Derek Young getting out of that. <laughs> My God. Oh, I, ah, <laughs> keep on. Derek Young keeps on trying to go for the maneuver. His signature there, Roddy Ace, go for a futile anarchy. My God. About to go for the duh, leave it on. <laughs> the living mushroom stump in a rope. Hell, my God, Derek Young just studying <laughs> the Roddy Ace. This guy is a superhuman. How in the world? And the gut kick right there. Sending him outside the ring. And go for a forearm smash, but no rever reversing that. About to go for a drop kick there. Derek Young. Getting. Getting a. Uh, Roddy Yates down, going for the inverted Phoenix Splash again. Looking to end the match here. No one, what? <laughs> I am, I am, I am, I am astonished. How isn't this the end of the match? But looking to end the match again. Well, not again, but here. One, two. Three, Derek Young with the dying Young as he proceeds to the semifinals or finals. I, I don't know. My God, what was this a match? This match was <laughs> astonishing. But Derek Young advances into the semifinals as the ref's checking on Roddy Ace to see if he's actually okay. These two went through hell this match. What a match. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to 
could be so good, but oh, it, it's Roddy Ace and Derek Young. What do you not expect from these two? Table on an announcement table.